what to expect when you're on nofap and semen retention stay tuned to the end of this video you don't want to miss it justice league family what's going on with y'all man today is the day the lord has made and we shall be glad and rejoice in it i thank all my returning subscribers for coming back to another video watching another message man smash that like button down below if you have not subscribed to my channel and join the justice league family on this side man we all about truth light love positivity elevation motivation growth wisdom you know what I'm saying? First and foremost, the most high God, man. But hit that subscribe button down below. Join the Justice League family. It's completely free. It costs you nothing at all. I'm a Christian artist, a motivational speaker. I teach as I learn, and I'm simply here to help you along your journey, man. My eyes are locked on the road. You know how it goes, but I'm with y'all, man, the whole way. Today's message and video. No fat, semen retention. And what to expect these are just some things we just gonna chop it up man these are things that you should just right off the bat when you go on to this no fab semen retention journey you better expect these things they're not all good some are good some are bad but we just gonna speak the truth that's what we do on this side we're gonna teach man so the first thing you need to expect when you go on this semen retention no fab journey you better expect to be ready and prepared to go into spiritual warfare that's right you better get you know what i'm saying prepared for attacks to come your way demonic attacks um people being used by the enemy in order to try to hold you down and hold you back from becoming successful and coming out of your sin and retaining your seed for the most high god man so spiritual warfare if you're not aware of what spiritual warfare is by now spiritual warfare is vital it's something that you every every single person on this planet i feel needs to learn about you have got to understand that your enemy is going to attack you in various ways he's going to attack you in the physical realm right however that may be however that may look it's different for everybody the enemy likes to use anything that's attached to your heart that's one thing I've noticed. Anything that you love, the enemy will try to use that against you when you're on this nofab journey, man, this semen retention journey. Why is this? Because the devil attacks anybody that's trying to get rid of sin in their life and fight off sin. He doesn't attack those people that are living in the world, the people that are sleeping around, the people that are still watching the websites, the people that are still playing with themselves, you know, the people who are comfortable in their sin. He's not going to attack those people. Why? Because those people are exactly where he wants them to be. Comfortable in their sin. So when you decide, you know what? I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of living like this. I'm sick and I'm tired of, um, you know, having depleted energy, no confidence, no motivation. Um, no willpower to do anything in my life. I feel filthy as a human. I feel filthy as a creature, as a creation, because I'm giving away my life force every day. So it's time to retain my seed and hold my seed and walk with God. When you decide that, you have now made the choice to get rid of sin in your life and go against this world and your flesh. So the enemy is going to come after you. Yes, be prepared for warfare, man. And like I said, it's not just in the physical plane. Here's another thing. This is another thing you need to expect. This is what a lot of people talk about. They struggle with this in specific. I still go through it. I don't struggle with it. I pray through it now. But the enemy, once you become strong enough in the physical, right, when the enemy knows that they can't get you to fall in the physical no more, when you're awake, they will attack you in your dream. You will start to have wet dreams, sexual dreams, sexual-based dreams, demonic dreams. These are all demonic. If you're a woman, you're going to deal with incubus, right? And if you're a man, you're going to deal with succubus coming into your dreams and trying to get you to have sex and fornicate in your dreams now it's it's just like a boxing match right with the enemy you're not gonna win every round but you have got to fight even in the dream state i lose all the time in my dreams you know i have 
sexual based dreams the further along in your semen retention journey you go um, you know you might see the sexual dreams intensify to where they become so real to you where you do have a wet dream where you do wake up and you're like wow why does this happen because the enemy plants seeds while you're sleeping he wants to get you back in your sin he wants to get you back to doing what you used to do he wants to get you back to your old ways he wants to get you back in the flesh and the way he can do that is planting seeds in your mind and in your spirit while you're asleep so this is why the bible says meditate on my word day and night when i come out of a sexual dream if i wake up and i have an issue downstairs i pray the entire time if i wake up in the middle of the night and i just had a sexual based dream where i could have been sleeping with some strange woman or some woman that I used to know or some woman that I'm dating, whatever the case may be. And I knew that it was not obviously um, a dream from God. I go straight into prayer. I start repenting because you've got to be aware that what happens in the spiritual manifests in the physical and the dream state is considered spiritual. So if you are fornicating in the dream state and the enemy is getting you to fornicate in the dream state, it could manifest in the physical if you're not repenting, if you're not praying every morning when you wake up, asking God for forgiveness, grace, mercy, thanking him, asking him for protection, asking him to be able to maneuver in the dream realm as well, the dream state as well, because God will gift you with that. There's times where I can have dreams and I'm in control of them, right? I, can, I know my choices. I know my actions in the dream state. I even know that I'm dreaming. But then there's those times when I have dreams where, you know, I can't control what happens. And, um, you know, I, something happens in the dream state that I'm not fond of, that I'm not happy about. And I know exactly who it is. So you guys got to expect this stuff. If you have a wet dream or if you wake up and you have, you know, an issue downstairs, whatever the case may be, that's not the end all be all of the journey. Even if it happens night in and night out, you know, too many people, um, I've seen comment about, oh, I can't stop having wet dreams. Oh, I can't stop this. You have got to understand. You got to pray through it. The enemy's not going to stop attacking it. Like I said, it's like a boxing match, right? It's just like a boxing match. Just like in my video, I said it's time to knock them out. It's just like a boxing match. You're going to win some. You're going to lose some. At the end of the day, the whole goal is to win the war, not the battle. So the enemy's not going to stop jabbing you. You're not going to stop jabbing him. You got to expect these things, man. Um, you know, another thing you can expect, and this is just a fact. I don't care what anybody wants to say. You better expect that, that God's blessings in your life are going to manifest and come quicker when you're on semen retention. Why is this? Because you, you're beginning to live for God, man. You, you are simply beginning to live for God. You're simply starting to live a righteous lifestyle. And the righteous are blessed. You know what I'm saying? God says it in his word. The righteous are blessed. You feel what I'm saying? So you better expect whatever you're praying for, whatever you've been praying for, once you clean your life up, once you start retaining your seed, holding your seed, you know, like I said, that's not the end all be all of, your, of life is just semen retention and you can do everything else outside of that. No, you got to develop a personal relationship with God. You feel what I'm saying? You got to read your word every day. You got to pray every day. You got to incorporate fasting into your life. You got to work on your inner self, self-reflectance, accountability. You feel what I'm saying? Work on your mindset. All of these things play a factor in it. But semen retention is going to help you um, see God's blessings in your life manifest quicker. You're also going to be able to pray with a cleaner heart. You're going to be able to stand before God in your prayer and know that you are living as righteous as you can in the flesh right now. You're striving for perfection every single day. So you won't be afraid to ask God for certain things anymore. You won't feel ashamed. You know, this is these are things you should just expect on semen retention, man. Just a few things. Like I said, um, the dream realm is very vital. I know a lot of people struggle with the dream realm. I struggle with the dream state. You know, I wake up, if not every morning, every other morning, having to pray and repent because I had a demonic dream. You know, the enemy doesn't like that. I'm not only have I came out of my old ways of watching porn and masturbating, but now I'm speaking about it. Right. I come online, I have a social media presence and an influence. And I'm trying to help set people free as well. And, you know, the enemy, you don't think that the enemy knows that you better believe he does and he don't like it. So, of course, he's going to attack. I became strong enough in the physical where 
I don't lust like I used to lust. You know, the Bible says if a man says that he's without sin, he's a liar. So I'm not saying that I'm sin free, but when it comes to lusting after women, I don't care how provocative they dress. I don't care if they try to tempt me whatever they way, way they want to. I don't fall for it anymore. And the enemy knows that. So he's been attacking me in the dream state a lot. You know, and you just got to expect it. The way you fight is with prayer, chosen ones. I've said it time and time again, man. It's simple. You fight with prayer. You don't fight with hands. You don't fight with nothing else. You fight with prayer. You go into spiritual warfare prayers. If you have to listen to spiritual warfare prayers via YouTube, you can do that. Another way to do it is while you're going to bed, put on an, the audio Bible. Listen to your favorite book in the Bible while going to sleep because your subconscious is listening to it while you're sleeping. You know, these are just simple things you can do to keep going. Another thing you're going to expect, and I'll end off, you know, I'll end the video here, is the whole reason why semen retention is so powerful, man, is not only because you're living biblically, you're living the way that God wants all men and women to live, is to wait for their partner until marriage because sex is so powerful. But it's, it's so vital and so powerful and so important because it's about energy. It is literally about your energy. Energy does not lie. Energy is everything and in everyone. So you better expect that people are going to try to drain your energy other ways when you are retaining. One of the main ways I get attacked is my sleep. You know, because I work so hard all day long out in the sun. I come home. You feel what I'm saying? I clean up, I cook, I do whatever I got to do. I might make some music here and there. I stay up past my the time I probably should stay up. So I wake up in the morning and I'm a little tired. So you, you got to expect some days you're not going to be completely and, and full of energy. You know, the world is going to try to draw your energy out of you whatever way they can. Now, what you need to do is make sure you are placing your energy in the correct places. Now, if, if you're drained, but you did a lot of positive yesterday with your energy and you kind of feel like you're depleted a little bit and you need a little bit of rest, at least you expended that energy in, in positive ways, into positive things, into bettering yourself. You feel what I'm saying? You know, you got to be mindful. Look, it's just like having a hundred dollar bill, right? If you got a hundred dollar bill, that's the, that's the only hundred dollars you have to your name. How are you going to spend that hundred dollars? It's the same thing with your energy. Like I said, energy is more valuable than currency. So you got to look at it every day. If you start off with a hundred dollars every day, one hundred dollars every day, how are you going to spend that money to make it work for you the best you can? Do that with your energy, because like I said. When they can't take your seed from you, when the enemy knows that you out here and you really live in this life for God and you've reached a certain place and point in your life, whether it's your job, your boss, your friends, your family, your coworkers, people out in public, whatever the case may be, the enemy has minions everywhere, just like God has people everywhere as well. And they will try to exalt your energy out of you, take your energy from you. Getting you involved in gossip, you know what I'm saying? Getting you involved in um, stressed out situations, trying to make you have anxiety, whatever the case may be. Overworking you, um, you know, that's another reason the enemy attacks the dream state is to try to get you to um, not rest well, you know, because even on semen retention, man, even with fasting and praying and getting right with God and holding your seed, you're still a human, man. You need your rest. Minimum six hours goal is eight hours that's healthy six to eight hours every night you know what i'm saying and if you can't manage to get that like i said just make sure that you spend that hundred dollars worth of energy every day in the right places positive speak life over yourself you know what i'm saying continuously speak life over yourself especially on no fap and semen retention man the power in the tongue is real i believe in affirmations why because the bible says that it's true you know, speak life, speak your affirmations every day. I am good enough. I am confident. I am healed. I am delivered. I'm a king. I'm a queen. I serve the most high God. I'm confident. I know who I am. I'm successful. I'm wise. You know what I'm saying? I walk in my purpose every day with confidence. I'm love. I'm truth. I'm light. Whatever you got to say, 
You know, say that to yourself every day, man. Especially on NoFap. Especially on semen retention. Get away from them websites. Get away from the websites, man. The websites are killing our youth. They're killing all of society right now, honestly. The divorce rate is at an all-time high. Most two-year-olds have split up households. All of this comes from not following the Bible and, and the Bible's ways of living life, man. You feel what I'm saying? So many people out here are lost. So many people out here ain't walking in their purpose. So many people out here are just following orders. So many people out here are unmotivated. Don't believe in themselves. Don't believe in God. Allowing the next man and next woman to dictate who they are, what they feel and how they think and how they dress and what they look like. You know, we ain't out here on that, on this side. So if you, if you, I know I'm attracting leaders, you know, and if you are a follower and you're watching this, you know, I hope you, I, t I hope I can turn you into a leader. That's what another goal on senior retention is, is becoming a leader, allowing God to use your life, you know, to shine unto others, to be an example unto others, man. I pray this message has motivated you. I pray this message has helped you in some way. Smash the like button down below if it's resonated with you, man. It gets my videos and my content out. That like button does more than you know. Like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like this message, I got many more to come. I got more music to come. You, If you go into my playlist, I got over 35 songs. All my links are down in my description. I got merch out. You know what I'm saying? I got all kinds of stuff um, available in my description, all social media leaks. You can find me on all platforms, all that good stuff. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Justice League family. You know, a family full of love, light, and truth. God, wisdom, knowledge, growth. I just thank you guys, man. You say a prayer for your brothers. You say a prayer for your sisters. And say a prayer for yourself. We still out here on superhero status every day, setting the captives free and helping save the lost, being used by God, man. Until next time, you already know what it is. It's your boy, King Justice.